we are en route to Kentucky. We ended up leaving my house about 6.45, which was a little bit later than when I would have liked to have pulled out of there, but Abby was waiting at my house and I was still in bed, which is the ultimate party foul, and I take the blame for that one because I didn't think my alarm went off, and after further investigation, I would say it did because my charger was like slung across the room, so I probably reached for my phone, hit and snooze, and pretty much threw everything in the same action, but... We're on the road now, and we're filling up with gas. Abby's inside grabbing some Dunkin' because you can't go on a road trip without coffee. And we're going to get headed southbound, and should take us about three and a half, four hours to get there. It's freshly brewed, babe. You got the good stuff? Awesome. Just after 10 o'clock right now and we're making progress I think we have about an hour left uh, the plan is to just get in camp set up put the tent up get everything packed up in it and I think after that we're just gonna put some boots on the ground check out some spots that I picked out just from scouting online and really I'm gonna focus on private land ag and try to kind of hug those borders We've talked to a few people who have been down here and it doesn't sound like there's a whole lot of ags, but we're just gonna drive around, check some spots out that I think might produce. And uh, Nick and Corey should be in later this evening, probably around five or so. So we got some time. I think we might even try to get some stands up tonight, maybe hunt. So we'll see you here in a bit. What's up everybody? It is Friday, September 18th and we're heading to Kentucky. So this was kind of a spontaneous last minute decision. I'm getting ready to load the truck right now. Um, but we have some great weather rolling in. We had some free time available this weekend and our season in Ohio doesn't open until next weekend. So we figured why not head a few hours south and go hunt Kentucky. So we're heading to a piece that we've done some muzzleloader hunting on before. We can link a couple of the videos up here above me. Um, it's a beautiful piece of public ground. We love hunting it. We got our tails whooped early in the season a few years ago, uh, but we're gonna give it a whirl today. I'm heading down with Corey right now. Easton and Abby are heading down also. And then uh, the guys from Whitetail Experience may be down there. So I don't know if you guys follow them, but if you don't, you should check out some of their stuff. There's some really cool dudes. So enough of me jabbing though. I got short time and I gotta head down to Columbus to meet Corey. So I'm gonna load the truck up and we'll get rolling. All right, I think I got everything loaded up. Had to leave a little bit of room for Corey. Hopefully I left enough, but should be ready to go. Most important part, can never forget good roll of soft TP. Definitely be using that at some point. So just gonna get my keys, my wallet, and we'll hit the road. See that shot boys when you're filming by yourself you're always doing crap like that set the camera up drive away run back and get it set the camera up walk run back and get it I don't know why we do what we do but we do it Kentucky Ugh. here we come First hour down, pulling in here to get Corey right now. We'll transfer everything from his car into my truck and then go the rest of the way to Kentucky. So Easton just got a hold of me. They're setting up camp before they head out to do some scouting and maybe even hunt this evening. And we're way ahead of schedule, so we might even get in there uh, yet tonight. So we'll see y'all there.
we have arrived to our final destination and right now we're the only ones here so I guess we're the first ones to the party and by the sounds of it deer hunting pressure won't be bad this weekend typically especially for Kentucky everyone comes the first weekend hoping to kill a velvet white tail and then it kind of trickles out from there as their states start to open up less people are coming in as non-residents so we're going to set up camp now that way, at least if we go out scouting later and see a spot that we want to hunt this evening, we don't have to worry about coming back and setting up camp in the dark. And we'll have a spot for Corey and Nick to set up when, once they get here. So we're going to go ahead and get everything out of the car and hopefully get this tent up. Hopefully I brought everything we need for it. set up looking nice and homely and David from the Whitetail Experience just got in he was setting up his tent with us and Nick and Corey should be here within the next two hours I'd say uh, we're headed out right now to go check out a few spots that I had mapped out I don't know they look good on the computer that doesn't mean they'll look good in person which is why we're going out there we're gonna drive around a bit and kind of look at what some of the private looks like surrounding the public and probably put some boots on the ground on the public if everything goes right I would like to end up in a tree tonight we still have plenty of time and it's not hot but it's not cool so I wouldn't imagine if anything's gonna move it wouldn't be till later anyway so not in a huge rush more so than anything, the goal of getting down here early today was just to be able to go and locate some spots that might be worth trying this weekend. So we're gonna poke around and hopefully find a few locations. ready right now you think start getting i was let's just get back there find together all right my pull up rope. well we made it to the bluegrass state we just pulled into the piece that we're going to hunt here Corey's getting some broadheads on his arrows we're gonna head back it's still pretty early I think it's like five o'clock so we got a lot of time but I'm gonna try to find some sign and hopefully put the first piece to the puzzle so Easton and Abby are out somewhere right now not exactly sure where um, but we'll have a few people out tonight and maybe somebody will get an arrow in one isn't that right Corey yes, sir.
we just got into a spot where I feel comfortable trying to make a setup. We didn't jump any more deer that I'm aware of, and we basically just followed that river all the way till it met that private land bean field, which you can see behind me. And we're not hunting right over it. Uh, we pulled back about 30 yards, obviously, just to respect their private land and all that, but I'm hoping with those green beans, there's going to be deer working through this private, or public, I mean. So we're going to shoot up this tree behind me, and hopefully the deer will start moving. It's a powder toe. The size of that toe. I'm just trying to find where they roost. Can't find where they roost. Really killing us here. There's acorns falling. So it's 5.40 right now. We've been in the stand for probably about 10 minutes, so we got in about 5.30. And we came all the way back to this spot that overlooks a private bean field. And it was kind of a pain to get two stands up in this tree. You really don't have anywhere to hang your equipment. So we're fully loaded up here, but we're hearing something further up this ridge. And that was the plan, it was hopefully that the deer would come off this ridge, feed out into the beans behind me. So, we got about two hours to hunt, and then we got to pack on out of here, which will take the better part of an hour. So, we're just going to sit back and enjoy the first sit of our 2020 season. Oh. 
Corey slept in this morning, and I did too. I the only two people long. with tags. Corey there's some, uh, <laughs> I got my headlamp from that. Well, that's really good. good. I don't have mine. We're gonna walk all the way back there. Pray to God our standing sticks are sitting there. Hopefully find a tree and hopefully shoot something with antlers. Preferably. Something with antlers. <laughs>
So as you can see there, our hunt last night ended pretty abruptly. I'm on my way back to Ohio right now following Easton and Abby. Just dropped Corey off and I kind of wanted to recap what went down there. So that buck slipped into the food plot right at last light. We only had a few minutes of legal shooting time left, but plenty of, you know, plenty of daylight to see. And he was quartering hard to us. Corey was literally just doing the right thing, waiting for an ethical broadside shot when little did we know there was another hunter on the opposite end of the food plot that was you know slipping in on his way out he had actually shot a deer and was dragging it out so that buck obviously spotted him and whipped it out of there immediately so we were pretty heartbroken that was a, a really nice buck and would have been an awesome out-of-state public land deer but the plan that we developed we executed there was just an unforeseen circumstance that prevented it from being finished so all in all, we learned a lot. Like I said, the weather was awesome, fun trip. As always, we love the bluegrass state. So thank you guys for watching this. We're obviously in the heat of hunting season now. You know, we're getting into the thick of it. So if you're out there, you know, chasing your first buck or going after your biggest buck, whatever it is, we hope you guys find success and we'll see you here on the next video.